In this video, I'm going to talk just a little bit about my mindset going into the rewatch of the Marvel Cinematic Movies, and what I'm expecting to feel about a select few going into this ranking process that we're about to undertake together. Hello everyone, I'm Just Your Average Joe with Silver Linings Film and Media Reviews. Now, I already know that I'm going to be at odds with some of you in terms of the play score I'm expecting to give some of these movies. If you don't know what I mean by play score, check out my channel trailer at the top. It's only like two and a half minutes long, and it will give you an idea about what this channel is going to be about, and how you can assist in the voting process and rankings of these movies. Let me jump right in with one that I know is going to get a lot of people upset. Thor Ragnarok. God, I hated this movie. I hate what it did to Thor as a character. They essentially turned him into a bad stand-up comedian. I mean, it felt like I was at a show watching someone die up on stage. What happened to him? This is supposed to be the Norse god of thunder. Thor provided another balancing point in the MCU, a more serious tone that was hysterical because he was somehow a fish out of water amongst fish out of water. He didn't even fit in with the superheroes. But the more the character progressed in his movies, they sort of made Thor into a schlub. And if you think I'm being hard on him now, just wait until we get to Fat Thor. Ugh. No. Just. No. Going into the rewatch of this movie, I want to try and see what everyone loved about it. I assume it's the comedy, but that's what I hated the most about it. So we might just end up having to agree to disagree on this one. I'm expecting a low place score here, but I'm totally open to being surprised. Maybe I was just in a bad mood when I watched it? Another score that might ruffle some feathers upon rewatch is Black Panther. I really liked about 7 eighths of the movie. I think Chadwick Boseman is great as our titular hero, but I absolutely hated the way they handled Killmonger, and I despise the ending of the movie. The MCU is about looking at realistic problems through an unrealistic lens. What comic books have always done well is say, well, everyone seems to want to do this, but what if we just decided to do that instead? It takes what is seemingly unpalatable to us as a culture and challenges us to find ways to be better human beings. I'm sorry, but you can't let Killmonger die at the end there. One of the main focuses of the movie is about how he feels he's been abandoned by his country and his culture. Black Panther needs to find a pathway to redemption there for him. Now, I realize that Killmonger has killed people, and therefore redemption is problematic for him, but it's not impossible. What about the Winter Soldier? In fact, they make redemption of the Winter Soldier a major storyline that runs through Wakanda. And before people scream at the screen that Bucky was literally brainwashed, this could have been a great opportunity to show how the feeling of abandonment can lead to a change in the way one thinks about his or her place in society. And look, you can't have too many redemption stories in this universe. You could have had both Killmonger and the Winter Soldier finding their own way together, building a rapport and supporting each other. That would have also been, I think, a better storyline for a TV series than Winter Soldier and the Falcon. And let me just add that Anthony Mackie did more with that character than anyone could have asked. So it's not a knock on him. I just think that an episodic storyline of two men traveling the Earth looking for ways to continually redeem themselves is a much more compelling storyline. And after a while, you can start rooting for them and bringing them back into the larger MCU fold much more easily. But that's just me. I'm sure I'll enjoy the rewatching of this because it's a good movie but I'm not so sure that it's going to improve how I feel about this ending. As for some of the movies that I'm lukewarm on and don't really remember, let's start with Iron Man 2. I had to look up who the villain was. I forgot that it was Mickey Rourke. I don't remember hating it, so that's a good start, but I don't really remember anything significant about it either. Then there's The Incredible Hulk. It's probably going to bug me that it's Edward Norton and not Mark Ruffalo, but I can usually suspend my annoyance if it's a good enough movie. But that's the problem, I don't recall enough about it to actually remember if I liked it or not. I don't feel Hulk-like rage when it comes to mind, but I also don't feel any real connection with it. So there's some possibility there for a surprise score. As for a few that I love, I mean the first Iron Man is quirky and funny. I enjoyed it on the big screen and I've seen it at least one more time since then on Blu-ray. But I haven't seen it in some years, so I'm curious about how it establishes Tony's personal story arc through his own movies and then the larger MCU movies. The same can be said for Captain America. There's a personal story here for me. My wife and I had our first date with this movie. So at certain points of the film, 
I remember not paying attention and just wondering if this amazing woman sitting next to me was enjoying herself. She later told me that she was also nervous. It was a great night. My car battery was dead in the parking lot, but I didn't want to ruin the moment by asking her for a jump start, so I just fiddled in the driver's seat, looking for my wallet or something, until she left. And then I was able to get a jump start and go home. All that to say that I had to rewatch the movie about a year later, and I enjoyed it enough that I bought the Blu ray. But again, I haven't seen it in some years. So I want to see if there's some consistency in the evolution of Captain America from the beginning all the way through Endgame. What movies are you looking forward to rewatching or not rewatching? Let me know in a comment below. If your comment is particularly interesting, I'll read it in a review video and give you a shout out. And if you're interested in coming along with me on this and future ranking endeavors, consider hitting the subscribe button so you'll know when it's time for you to vote in future videos. Thank you for spending some time with me. I really do appreciate it. I'm your average Joe with Silver Linings Film and Media Reviews. Have a great day.